Hello everyone, welcome back to Command and Conquer. We are again at GDI Mission 5 and I promise this is the last time we're going to play that mission. So this mission here is the last version of this mission we have left, so let's take it on. It's a lie, all of it. GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok a Tiberium Center? Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut? Nod forces severely damaged GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status. Here we go again, and it looks like that this mission is pretty much identical to the one we've played before, but it doesn't really matter, we're going to play it anyway, because I want a complete let's play of this game. Because all the missions, like all the different variants of all the missions we can have, so yep, let's give it another go. That's another mod tank. Oh. Whoa. That was a hidden rocket guy there. Let's take on this buggy here. Let's actually send the BMT up here. The APC, sorry. And let's... Yeah. Here we go. So let's prepare my base. And this time I'm going to keep my radar. And for some reason we only get one Tiberium side on this mission. Well, it doesn't really matter, we are going to sell it anyway, so... And there's a buggy again, which can't decide where it wants to go. Well, I don't care. Oh, there you are, so come, come here. Okay, or not. Come on, make up your mind. There's a lot of infantry, so let's... And the same. On this map, the yeah, AI just can't decide where it wants to go. Okay, so let's get all the infantry here, get my light vehicles down here, leave my tanks in the base. Just in case, so can I attack these guys here? Yeah, I actually can. The minigunners can't seem to attack me, that's good. So let's take out some more rocket guys. And I wonder whether I can sell these sandbags. No, I cannot. When you build sandbags, you can sell them, but you can you know, usually they they don't make them like the player sandbags. So you don't won't just sell them all. Destroy the nice 
aesthetics of your base. And yeah, I never attack sandbags, which makes sense because then otherwise you could just put a lot of sandbags in the AI's way and they would take forever attacking him. But on the other hand, it also means that if you completely sandbag yourself in, then the AI will never get through unless they accidentally shoot those sandbags. So that is a pretty cheap strategy if you really want to. Oh, would it want to turtle in a mission? That's like perfect turtling, pretty much. And if you really overdo it, you can like include a Tiberium field in your massive wall of sandbags, and then you can even like amass 100 tanks and then just steamroll the enemy if you really want to. So let's, let's go here. Let's destroy this tank here. And oh, that's, that's a lot of guys. Not good. Okay, let's get these rocket guys first. Then let's get this tank, and then that's a lot of buggies. I probably yeah made them angry because I attacked, and they destroyed one of my tanks. That's not good. Made them angry because I attacked their harvester. So let's defend for now. This is this is not good at all. So let's take all my units, defend, and let's build more Humvees. Cause pretty much the only thing you can build in this mission. I mean, okay, you can build infantry, but that's not really the point here. Don't you dare to attack anything in my base. Where are you going? Oh, you really want to attack that radar dish, didn't you? Well, I'm fine with that. So, um, I don't like your face. So, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, that was easy. So, I'm just going to build some more Humvees and then, then go for the base as usual. In the meantime, let's do some more exploration. Even though I'm pretty sure these maps are 100% identical. Which makes you wonder why they even bother to include two maps here. Maybe maybe they plan to have a fourth map here, but didn't manage to complete it in time. Might very well be the case. Or maybe they just want some variety and couldn't be bothered to make e yet another map. And that tank decided to kill one of my Humvees and just run away. There we go. Yeah, eat some medium tank shells. Don't think there are any more units here. So... Yep, looks clean. Ooh, there's rocket infantry. I'm okay with that. And I don't like these gun turrets. I really wish they would give you a second harvester here, or at least like let you build buildings. But I think the theme of this mission is that you pretty much are stuck with what you have, and you can only like build in a very limited degree. So yeah, that's what we're going to deal with. And to be fair, most players will probably only play this mission once, doing a campaign, and not like four times, like I do. Now not needs quite a long time to harvest this Tiberium here, because for some reason I don't like this patch here, but I'm okay with that. So let's see how much stuff they have. Because I'm going to kill their harvester. The harvester's just standing there, and they have at least one tank. Yeah, and there we go. That three tanks, that's actually quite a lot of stuff, so let's retreat to my base. And I'm going to leave my harvester here because I don't want it be caught in the crossfire and that's a lot of infantry. Ooh, this might have been a mistake, but I said that the last time and it turned out it wasn't a mistake. So let's just jump walls in here and get shot to get shot one by one. Okay everybody gang up on the tank. There we go. So two tanks left. Let them come over here to this very dramatic music. And you were going for my radar dish again, weren't you? You really, you really don't like my communication center, don't you? Come on, come over here. Why are you so slow? I guess it's because you're carrying a bazooka. But then again, those other guys are carrying miniguns. Are miniguns really 
that much lighter than Bazookas. Well, I guess they are. At least in the Command and Conquer universe. Which, as I've said before, isn't exactly the most realistic like, simulator of military conflicts. But I still think it has quite an interesting concept.